monthly company outings. Yeah, so we try to bring them to quite alternative places that are more uh, interactive in a way because if it's just like a lunch, it's not so interactive. So I thought, hey, it's a really good idea to bring the guys for something a bit different, something more outdoors. So that's when we decided to look up different suggestions. Then one day Liz came to me and, hey, you know what, uh, there's this thing, it's pretty interesting with a very story-driven kind of approach to the tour. So why don't we consider? I think the tour is kind of interesting because I don't really get exposed to all this. I don't really go for tours, I don't really go, I don't really watch documentaries or I really know surface level. But then when, when it comes to this tour, right, I know a thing or two about Mr. Lee. I know about his background, I know what he does, and where he lives, and all of those iconic places that we went to. I think it's very interesting. Personally, I don't like tours kind of stuff. But for this to be very informative, uh, you know, something that I can learn a lot about, you know, Mr. Lee's past and stuff. So I guess this is a different kind of tour that I, you know, there was a lot of insights as to day-to-day uh, -day preferences, what does he do on a daily basis, and um, his workplace, the type of challenges he met, and, and I think it's very inspiring. It's also interesting to see or hear the more fun facts, things like, oh, he likes to eat ice cream, his favorite food, and he goes to like Guan Ho Sun, which, which my family frequents. Uh, the fact that he was a very cheeky little boy, cheeky little boy. <laughs> that's not something I would have expected him to be because he's always very stern. You know, when, when in his public persona to us as the politician, the statesman, he's always very stern. So when I found out that, hey, you know, he was actually quite a little playful boy, so I thought that was an interesting fact. And what kind of amazed me is actually understanding that his office space is a very uh, under-empowered kind of a scenario, small and, and just like a normal room. Uh, it's pretty amazing to see the places that he worked and live as well. Being in the actual place itself actually triggers a different emotion when you when you sort of learn, like for example, when he was elected or when you're at the actual place, it feels very different when you're being told that, that knowledge. I, I was thinking actually from primary school up to, you know, as old as you can be, you know, because there, there's a lot of things that not many people or the media don't really show to us, but from this you can actually learn more. This will give the youngsters a very different perspective of Mr Lee Kuan Yew, because what they usually see in textbooks would be him as a statesman, him as a politician, him the prime minister. This tour will actually give them a very different insight to the man himself, uh, his personal life uh, and how his uh, upbringing, his personal life actually influenced and shaped him into the statesman that we all know him to be. I, I really enjoyed the tour and the guides was, was, was great, right? perfect knowledge. And all. Sure, of course, I'll definitely recommend to both corporates and, and just day to day, you know, if you're finding something to do, uh, this is going to be one of the best three hours you're going to spend. Mm -hmm.